Mark, just how much are you enjoying playing snooker at the moment? Yeah, I wasn't enjoying the start of that match. I missed a few mm. easy ones in the first couple of frames. My focus just wasn't there. That's been really good lately. Uh, wasn't feeling my best today, if I'm honest. I really struggled with a bad headache all day. I've spent most of the day in a dark room just laying down. I haven't been feeling the best, so maybe that was a bit of a hangover from that, getting into the start of that match. But I felt like from 3 1, I really switched on. Maybe you no know, back against the wall sort of, sort of stuff. You, know, you have to do it now, you're going home, and I played really good stuff in that last three frames. Is that an insight into the, the life of Snoop playing in, in a dark room and then out into the, the bright lights? Is that kind of a yeah, regular thing for you? Probably, no, not normally. I'm, I'm normally out and about and you know, go out for lunch with a friend or give, do my practice during the day, but just today I had to just spend it nearly all day in bed. Uh, really wasn't feeling great, just very tired, very sore head, sore eyes. So getting out there in the bright lights didn't help with that extra brightness, you no, know, just didn't help the headache, but it's just all about battling through, you know, the challenge that the game brings all very different things, not just about snooker sometimes, you know, sometimes there's challenges that people don't really pick mm. up on. So as much as I wasn't feeling great, I was enjoying the challenge of trying to get over over that against a very, very good player and thing. I guess a big part of the sport is battling those elements, isn't it? Sometimes not even the snooker parts at all. You know, you see players walking down the corridors in very different mental states and also physical yeah. states and, and whatever. Absolutely. And you know, we've seen with your weight loss that there's, that's, that's a big change in, in, in your life, isn't I it? I think that's probably helped me, you know, just yeah. deal with things better. Just I'm not as tired. I know today that's an exception because of a headache and stuff, but in general, I'm not as tired as I was. I'm able to get around the table better. I, I don't feel out of breath when I'm playing. All those little things add up and like you've said, like the mental state is really good, so I'm actually enjoying the challenge that every different part of each different match and tournament brings. So, yeah, bring on the next one. People love those debates, don't they, about when a sportsman was at his best? And we, you know, we, there's a lot of claims at the moment that Ronnie's probably, you know, still at his best and better than a, a 1990s Ronnie. In, in terms of yourself, yeah, where, where do you where do you rank where you're at now in terms, or how how do you compare that with say uh, 10, 11 years ago? I would say I'm, I'm a much more rounded player now. I feel like my long game's not as good as it was, uh, but in general, my scoring's always pretty good. Safety's definitely improved from sort of 10, 11 years ago, like you mentioned. And I think my mental state's just so much better. I always felt like I was pretty strong mentally, but I feel like in the last sort of six months, even at the start of the season when I wasn't doing great, I felt like I was mentally very good, and I think I've just went up a level on that. So I don't think there's any doubt in that myself and all the other top players can do what the other players can do mm -hmm. I think mo more often than not matches are won and lost and tournaments are won and lost with what you have between your ears and I think that's probably my biggest improvement well and staying on the psychology there was a chance that you wouldn't play in this tournament does that sort of just free you up because you know whatever whatever happens it's kind of a bonus really uh, I was thinking that when I was traveling mm. no I was thinking of obviously if I don't make it so be it no but Whenever you're out there, you're not thinking, no, oh, it's a bonus now. You're thinking, no, oh, this is another match. I want to win it and another tournament. I want to try and go deep. And yeah, all those sort of things go out the window. Uh, it's different types of pressure. No, it's easy to say you nearly missed it. Pressure's off. But no, once you're out there, you're back to normal. And past arguably the, the best Chinese player ever, but potentially uh, another fine Chinese player in Jia Jintong next or, or, or John Astley. Okay, I didn't even know who I played next, to be honest. I should have yeah. given John Astley a bit more of a build-up than that, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'd start that one again. <laughs> uh, look, the thing, there's no, there actually isn't an argument. He is the best Chinese player of all time. He's phenomenal. Uh, he still is. Uh, only a matter of time before he starts winning big events again. He's too good not to. But Zing Tong looks like heir to the throne, so to speak. He's won a few big tournaments, obviously, UK champion. and. He's just great to watch, isn't he? Everyone enjoys watching him. I think I read that he won his match in 33 minutes or something today, mm -hmm. which is just ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, but he's going to have a tough match against John Astley. He's a very gritty player, can play you no know, good snooker on any given day. Uh, it's just a match I'm going to look forward to. It's another chance of going deep. You always want to get in these tournaments to that Friday. You feel like a tournament starts on the Friday, so hopefully uh, I perform tomorrow and get free. We hope it's longer than 40 minutes, Mark. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Thanks. Cheers,